So we will have a uh, tax on sweetened drinks. Um, how we got that, I will explain it. Uh, because in this area, Estonians were fast, I can assure you. As you know, we are not very fast usually. So, um, it started, uh, at first I explained what kind of tax it is. It will start to work from the next year. And it will be introduced in two phases. Uh, if there is, um, there is zero tax rate for uh, drinks where the sugar or, sh or a replaceable um, ingredient uh, is below 5%, there will be no tax. If it is from 5 to 10, it is one rate, and if it's over 10%, it's a higher rate. But this higher rate will be introduced in uh, two years. How we got there? It started uh, when, in the middle of November, um, there was a government change. And um, uh, the new coalition was formed from the two leftist party, Social Democrats and Centre Party. And they got a my, uh, one more partner, so-called previously Conservative Party, who has lost its support among the voters. So they are currently and were then on the edge of losing position if there were elections at the point of time. Uh, so they made a big uh, promises, uh, but as you know, promises are usually costly. And afterwards, they wanted to find the money for this one. So even if it's a talk about whether it's a, um, the tax has some kind of health uh, reasons, I have very high doubts about it, and I will explain now it is. As you know, taxes have two reasons generally. Affect behavior of people and fiscal reasons to collect revenues. Uh, of course, when the new government started, they said that the tax will be for health reasons. However, uh, in the middle of November, uh, in the Ministry of Social Affairs, where one of the leaders of the uh, current um, government, the Social Democrats, is a um, health minister, uh, prepared a green book. As you know, um, it was not even the final version, but a uh, provisional version of green book about uh, healthy nutrition and movement, uh, and sports, and so on. And there was... Um, concluded that Estonia need to diminish intake of sugar, salt and trans fats uh, to inform people more about uh, nutrition, uh, to promote healthy nutrition and movement, sports, uh, to tackle food uh, marketing and also there was a question about uh, price, uh, price policy. However, in this area the part was just that short, what to do. Because it was said that there are a lot of unanswered questions, that it needs m further analysis. The analysis was made next five, four, five months. So the law, the draft was presented to the parliament in a May, on the 4th May. Uh, in the last, <laughs> Monday, Tuesday was made last bigger changes. In a Wednesday, there was a discussion in Parliament, and as I said yesterday, the law was passed. What happened? At first, it was said that it will be tax on the lemonades because children are drinking unhealthy drinks. Then it turned out that uh, there are different kind of drinks. Uh, there are drinks which include sugar, but there are drinks where are other sweeteners. So it was widened at the base. Also, if it's uh, other kind of sweeteners included in the drinks, 
Then it turned out that uh, there are natural sugars, like <coughs> natural juices. Then it was said, we will not tax it. However, then it was concerned that according to EU law, if you are not taxing it, then you have to apply for a state support, state aid uh, approval from the Commission. They stick to the, uh, this still, that uh, natural choices will be not taxed. Uh, then it turned out that there are sport drinks, also including sugar or other sweeteners. However, you can make it from the power, powder. If you are buying a powder, going home, adding water and making a drink. So it was decided that no, this kind of product should be also taxed. So if you are buying a powder, is it a drink or not? It was decided it is drink. Um, then it happened, uh, the last change happened in, as I mentioned, in Monday, uh, last Monday, that uh, when they were preparing this application to EU Commission, that it turned out that all drinks uh, which are based on milk are also uh, are products what you can replace with uh, soda drinks, for example, like uh, yogurt drinks or, or some other drinks. And um, those are very, very popular in Estonia. So uh, this was decided that those kind of drinks should go also under the application <coughs> from the EU Commission. So in current law, which is passed, it is said that also natural choices and milk-based products are taxed with uh, the sweetener tax. However, if Commission gives approval, then they will be not taxed. Uh, however, as far as I know and as far as we have tried to get information from Ministry of Finance, they have short of explanations how, why they can have this exclusion. Uh, there was um, a odd political reason also uh, in, um, at the end of May when on, uh, one of the partners uh, in, uh, in current government changed the leader. And new leader said that he don't like uh, this uh, sugar tax. Uh, there were two week long discussions and it was decided that this tax will remain. So we were hoping that it will not happen. still happened. Uh, we had a lot of discussion in uh, society, in parliament, about this tax. And um, of course, people were discussing and getting more knowledge uh, about sugars, uh, about calories, about healthy nutrition, and so on. And in that respect, the process of writing this law is really good because I think the awareness about sugar uh, products has increased in Estonia quite a lot. Uh, if say whether the people were against it, against this tax, I would say that they are <coughs> ironic about it because everyone un understands that uh, this is for uh, collecting taxes, uh, getting more revenues. Why? Because if you look on the uh, consumption, then um, these soft drinks are taking 8% of total consumption of uh, sugary products, uh, about drinks, 8%. And the total calories, those are taking one, a bit more than 1%. So the tax are targeting the very minor part of the sugar in the consumptions. It was asked, why are not taxing, for example, cakes and pastries and so on? Or maybe candies. Um, and if you're looking on the face, then the Ministry of Health, then it was like uh, I was clear that he is ready for taxing it. But uh, he clearly understands also that um, it might be very unpopular among the uh, public. 
and we are having uh, local elections in October. So, uh, when yesterday the law was passed, we had a um, representative from the Social Democratic Party who said that we should go on with taxing other products as well, <coughs> uh, hinting on it. So, I still hope it will not happen, but who knows. Uh, the odd thing about this tax is definitely that, um, but it, this is a really odd thing, that uh, they expect to collect uh, uh, 15 million euros from this from next year. And uh, they expect that revenue will increase by 1 million in every year. We sure if the tax will be applied only on this limonades as it started, uh, then they will not collect this revenue. Uh, maybe if they will be able to tax also the yogurts and milk, other milk products, they will get this revenue. But this um, 15 million was placed at a time when talk was about only about limonades, only about uh, sugar, clear, natural sugar. So they have not changed the forecast of revenues. When uh, they went out with the forecast that they were collecting 15 million from this tax, it was said that it's not unrealistic uh, forecast. Still, they expect it to happen, but uh, you can see that the forecast from this government is just collect money uh, and find a way to where to collect it. And um, the 15 million they expect from next year, it's the same number which will be spent additionally for agricultural subsidies. So I don't know. When one person suddenly accidentally spoke it up in one sentence, the other, it's looked very bad in that sense. Uh, what will happen in Estonia? Uh, we know that um, producers are already diminishing share of uh, sugar in products. They are preparing it. And I personally think that um, at least for milk products, the sugar level is high. Uh, when I say five years ago, drink them, I'm not drinking them anymore because they are so sweet. So in that sense, we hope that it will be much healthier. I also hope that there was this discussion we had during those months about sugar will happen the same what happened uh, some years ago with uh, trans fats in Estonia. <coughs> this time the uh, wife of this time's president in one interview said that he's not buying uh, candies which, which have very high level of trans fats. We had a very big discussion afterwards in media because it was summer and there was nothing to write about, of course. But it ended up in a way that people started to look on the labels. And actually the producers also diminished the uh, fat in these uh, candies and otherwise. So if you are raising the awareness of people, it helps actually. However, if you are at the same time raising taxes, you can always say that it was because of taxes. But otherwise it was something else. Um, so I still hope that there will be no additional taxes uh, on food products in Estonia. Uh, and I'm not sure how it will work out because um, one fact for you as well, uh, you probably know that in Estonia all taxes are paid through the internet and uh, for making a new addition for this Estonian e-tax system it costs one million because you have to make it fast. Uh, and we have other taxes as well which will be introduced. So uh, for a tax office it will be a very heavy time 
and I, I think there will be a very heavy shortage of IT personnel in uh, tax office as well. And um, as you know, in everywhere, it is shortage of IT personnel. So I don't know, will they manage with this one million? Because um, when I was Minister of Finance, um, probably you don't know, I don't know, maybe it's in Latvia or Lithuania or on some other countries, uh, there is always um, some department that with a tax policy and they have in their drawers, drawers various kind of taxes. <laughs> they are calculating what one or other kind of tax costs. If someone is saying that we should tax this one or that one, they are always calculating how much it will cost, how much will be revenue and so on. And I can say that most of those kind of small taxes are very inefficient because the administration is high. Even if you have a very good IT-based tax paying system. So I wonder how much they <coughs> actually will collect from this tax. But that's it. I will not widen the theme, well, I, although I am very fond of the reason that um, people are clever and they can make decisions themselves, even if it affects uh, nutrition, movement, alcohol drinking or tobacco using. So, thank you.